Australian television star who traded fame for Scientology. Manuela Oliveira is a singer and dancer who made it here, then moved with her boyfriend to Hollywood to realise their dream of breaking into the big time. And they did, working on American versions of X Factor and The Voice and performing with superstars including J-Lo, Pink and Rihanna. Life was good, but as Brian Seymour reports, it didn't stay that way. People need to know that the truth, that this thing exists in front of our eyes. You know what I mean? And it can happen to anybody. Welcome to Hollywood, you have arrived. I don't know how to describe it because it just, you know, it, it takes people's lives, it takes people's souls. Hi Manuela, I'm Brian Seymour, I'm with Channel 7 in Sydney. I'm here to talk to you about the Sea Org. What? You know that the Sea Org is using you. They've promised to make you a star, Manuela, but they're not going to. Do you understand that? A evil cult that rips apart families, tricks people, sells them false dreams and hopes, and strips away your individuality. Undescribable, man. You know, the pain, the pain is real, you know? Hey, hey! Manuela! How you going? Good, good! Australian dancers Yanis Safandi and his partner Manuela Oliveira hit our screens in 2008 on the local version of So You Think You Can Dance. It was amazing because So You Think You Can Dance is, is, the, is the biggest thing that ever came for dancers. The experience working as choreographers and dancers performing on national television ignited a fire in them both to do much, much more. We got together in 2004 and um, she wanted to, to dance and she wanted to sing. Three years ago, Manuela moved to Los Angeles with Yanis. Soon they were working with some of the biggest names in showbiz. Well, my first job was American Music Awards for Pink in 2010. And then um, our first job together was for Jennifer Lopez music video, On the Floor. Jennifer Lopez's hit music clip for On the Floor has nearly 700 million views on YouTube. Their next job was an even bigger step up. So I checked the phone and it's like, hey Yanis, this is Paul Abdul, can you call me back? And then the week, I think a week later, um, Paula called my agent and then I was working on the show. The couple worked on the X Factor USA with Team Paula Abdul, and that led to even more. From then on, how X Factor came on, we were working on The Voice, season two. What were you doing on The Voice? We were basically the performance consultant and choreographer of the whole show. Riding a wave of success, the couple worked 100 hours a week. Then Manuela hurt her leg. A friend suggested she see a healer who turned out to be a Scientologist. Her leg healed naturally and Manuela began doing Scientology courses. Within a few short months, she made a stunning announcement. She decided to join the team of Scientology's most elite secretive order. And then I'm said, what do you mean join the team? And, and, and she's like, well, I have to live with them. And I was like, it's like a red alert, you know, like, that doesn't sound right, you know. Since its beginnings in the 1950s, Scientology has tried to recruit up-and-coming celebrities, who they then use to promote their expensive courses. They own numerous buildings right in the heart of Hollywood. And towering over Hollywood's Sunset Boulevard is Scientology's toughest and meanest outfit. It's called the Sea Organization, or the Sea Org. join the Sea Org, one must sign this contract. It runs for one billion years. It demands of new recruits, among other things, that they must be debt-free, offer blind faith, and return in their future lives to the group to help save mankind from the ravages of intergalactic threats. Manuela signed the Sea Org contract in January. Tell me, uh, how, how did you meet Manuela? Um, she was our roommate. She was she a roommate slept in the Sea Org. On the bottom bunk, I slept all the way on top. Sisters Ileana and Veronica Galvez joined the Sea Org at the same time as Manuela. 
They were promised jobs as physical trainers to the stars, like Tom Cruise and Kirsty Alley. Did you get to teach Tom Cruise how to work out? <laughs> no. no. Instead, the friendly faces who recruited them were quickly replaced by the brutal regime inside Scientology. They're cold. They're like robots walking around just... I mean, they walk like robots. Um, when they talk to you, they treated you like you were lower, lower than dirt, you know? This is the daily routine the girls and Manuela were forced to follow. Up at 7.40am to clean the dormitory, a military-style muster at 830 then more drills and hard labour, followed by more of the same, then studying Scientology texts, then roll call, more drills, 15 minutes in a communal shower, lights out at 11.30pm, seven days a week. Son, but we're just working like slaves and we're not helping anyone. We haven't done anything. The girls were exhausted all the time. They saw Manuela break down after a rare, brief phone conversation she was permitted to have with Yanis. She Believe. still loves him. Yeah, yeah, she does. She was crying. She defended Scientology and he just he got upset. cursed and he got upset. And it looked like her heart was breaking, but she was going to stay in it. And that's how determined she is. They told her that they were going to open a TV station. She's going to be the star of She's the Scientology the network. She's going to be the star. We're in the desert, about one and a half hours outside Los Angeles. This is Scientology's international gold base. It's a massive, sprawling complex all around me. This is where Manuela would supposedly be made an international superstar. You see, it's home to golden era productions. They have sound stages, edit suites, recording facilities. But instead of TV shows and music videos, all they make here are Scientology videos designed to make it look like they're doing well. Manuela, along with other Sea Org members, would be put to work on these in-house productions, used effectively as in-house labour. Manuela had told her family that she had joined a production company. Janos and Manuela's brother frantically searched around for help and found Tony Ortega. Unfortunately, the family just didn't know what she was getting into. And the layers of what she was getting into go so far deeper than I think the public understands. New York-based journalist Tony Ortega has exposed numerous abuses inside Scientology over the last 17 years. Most recently, he broke the story of King of Queens actress Leah Rimini's decision to leave the cult. I mean, Scientology's got maybe 40,000 people in the entire world at this point. This was a young woman with the kind of talent to be working on and featured in television shows that were reaching millions of people. And now she's dancing for a few thousand fellow church members. I just can't see how that's a good career move. Ortega put Janos in touch with these five former members of Scientology. Earlier this year, these five were waiting as Janos invited Manuela to meet him for one hour outside Scientology's walls. This is the audio of their attempt to explain to Manuela the awful truth about the group she has joined. So, like, you need to realize that this mm -hmm. group is dangerous. Uh -huh. And it's actually dangerous for you being there. I'm looking at you, and it's like, it's so sad to me because I feel like they're taking advantage of you. Well, I appreciate, I mean, <laughs> you bringing me mm. here. And it's good to know, you know, people that have, that have been Scientologists for so long. Me and my wife, we had 20 private investigators a day for a year and a half following us in front of our house. Tiziano Lugli and his wife Jamie escaped Scientology three years ago. They're both now dedicated to helping others escape. If you're like, you know, let's check it out. No, no, no. You can't just check it out. You know, you gotta, you, you're either with us or you're against us. You've probably seen Michael Fairman in dozens of TV shows, including Sons of Anarchy, The X-Files, Murder, She Wrote, and Seinfeld. Would you ever consider coming to work directly for me? Really? That's when it actually becomes a true cult because the answers are only in Scientology and nowhere else and if you try to look somewhere else or you question it, you're dead meat. Michael's wife, Joy Grayson, is a voice coach and singer. She says Scientology promised her they would make her a star but she realised it was a lie and got out of the Sea Org. It's controlling you with fear. Fear of the unknown of what happens after you die. Fear of not be, of being cast out of the group. 
fear of being cast out of your own family. A cult, a dangerous one at that. Um, it is uh, completely, entirely uh, about money. Tom DeVock was in the Sea Org for 28 years. He rose to become head of construction and a close confidant of Scientology leader David Miscavige, who is Tom Cruise's best friend. In the Sea Org, you don't watch TV, you don't read magazines, no contact to the outside world. Your programs, I guarantee you, 99.9% .9 of the people don't even know about you or know about the programs. So it's very much a controlled uh, scene. This is what happens when you question the abuse within Scientology. A man in black with a camera shows up every time. What's the lockdown? It's a security drill. They lock all the doors, they keep all the public and the staff inside so they can't run into It's us. like a fire drill, but everyone stays in the exactly. building. Exactly. <clears throat> that way they can't get into contact. They won't hear what you're saying. My name's Brian Seymour. I'm a journalist with Network 7 in Australia. Okay. We're filming a story on Scientology. All of these Scientology called the police and accused us of being threatening and aggressive. Well, he's filming us, so if we do it, he's got us on camera. The point of calling the police is this guy. He films the officers talking to me. Then Scientology tells its members that I am in trouble with the police and they'll show them this video shot. It seems ludicrous, but Scientologists only read and see what they're shown. So that's what Manuela will also be told. Officers, thank you so much. You've been very polite. I'm sorry that they've wasted your time, but thank you very much. We'll, sti we'll stick to what you've said, absolutely. Good on you guys, thank you. Why don't you want your family to know you joined, Manuela? Can you talk to me? Just please, can you talk to me for a second? I, I just want to ask you a couple of quick questions. Your brother attended an intervention with, with former Scientologists. Okay. Did you hear what they were saying about how children are forced to hard labor? What sort of hard labor were you doing, Manuela? Can you talk to us about what's happening to you, please? I'm sorry to say, I think Manuela's very, very committed to the Sea Organisation and her billion-year contract. She made it seem like they promised her she was going to be singing and dancing all the time and she was going to be involved in some television production or whatnot. Um, and we all just kind of shook our heads and laughed to ourselves because it's just a complete fabrication. It's fine. The truth will come out. Well, the truth will come out. The yeah. truth is coming out in this story. Scientology claims Sea Org members are free to come and go and make their own decisions. They also claim those criticising Scientology in this story are anti-religious zealots. And they accuse us of harassment and manipulating the truth. But those who have escaped, including Jenna Miscavige-Hill, the niece of Scientology's leader, say that is a blatant lie. They claim their phone calls and emails are controlled by Scientology staff. They are worked to the bone, deprived of sleep and indoctrinated into a way of thinking that precludes the ability to make decisions for themselves. You know, I realise that's what cults and, and, and mind control and brainwashing is to change your identity. It's just frightening to me that it can, that it can still happen in this day and age. Get out. Get out. Get out. It doesn't matter where you go. I mean, you can call us. You can stay at our house. Where I come from, it's, you know, I'm doing this is because based on love and truth. You know, and I feel with love and truth, you cannot lose. We did approach the Church of Scientology for an interview, but they refused. And you can find their written response on our website. Meantime, Manuela has issued a statement saying that she is committed to Scientology and happy to be part of the Sea Org.